Hey guys, so um, my daughter just woke up for her nap, so you may hear her in the background. She's watching um, her show. Um, but anyways, so I actually just went on Snapchat and told you guys that I would not be posting a video today, but I lied. I was like, I forgot that I never even did a haul for the stuff that I purchased, and I'm ready to use these items. I haven't, I've just been swatching them um consistently because i'm ready to use them so i made a trip to sephora so it's a tiny bag it's really not that much to show this i was like you know what i'm gonna just film it and post it up for them it's not even a big deal because tomorrow i'm actually going to upload another video for you guys it's gonna be um basically the makeup look that i am wearing for thanksgiving tomorrow i'm just gonna kind of wing it so we'll see how it goes but i wanted to at least show you guys what i purchased so as you guys know sephora recently did this sale um where vib members got 20 percent off and um the beauty insiders got 15 percent off so i took advantage of that um kind of i only purchased two things during that time and then i got it um, a few other things after the fact. So the first thing I want to show you guys are these lashes. These are the um, Huda Beauty lashes in Scarlet. These are the Scarlet 8s. They are a little small. I did trim them. Your girl has really tiny eyes. So I kind of have to trim them a little bit. But they are freaking amazing. I'm definitely wearing them for tomorrow for Thanksgiving. I actually purchased these... Um, day that i was gonna have my birthday dinner i slash engagement dinner which obviously i didn't know i was getting engaged but um yeah so if you guys want to know about that night if you follow me on social media y'all have seen um me like constantly posting about it so i would definitely do a video for it if you guys want to see um me and him come probably do a video together um but yeah so I, that day i thought i was going to her birthday dinner and i needed lashes i had no lashes um so i went to sephora real quick um because it was after i got off of work so i ran to sephora real quick and got some lashes and these were the only ones i could find and i was really really skeptical about them because they were twenty dollars and i was like i have never spent twenty dollars on lashes like i don't know but I'm obsessed and I'm probably always going to get these because they are amazing quality and they look amazing. So the next thing I got was the Stila Written in the Stars kit. And this is just a cute glitter kit. And they have another one. I think this one was $25 and they have another one that's $40 um, where you get three liquid shadows and three glitters. They're not the exact same glitters, but they are definitely really beautiful. So I'll go ahead and swatch these. This is called Diamond Dust. And it's just like a silvery based glitter. So that's how that looks. Like that is beautiful. Next one is Smoky Storm. And this is like a taupe glitter. And the third one I got is Kitten Karma, which is like a rosy glitter with like silver flecks. What I really love about these is that once they are on, they are on. Like, they do not come off. I'm loving them. I'm just loving them so, so much. I'm trying to clean my hand because I'm probably going to be swatching more stuff for y'all. These are a really nice thing to kind of add for the holidays. And not even just the holidays, but because I'm obsessed with glitter all year round. So, what I got was the Rihanna Fenty Beauty uh, Kilowatt Highlighter Duo. And this one is in Mean Money and Hustla Baby. And honestly, I'm still kind of deciding if I want to take this back or not. I needed a new highlight because I was out of my champagne pop. And I've been wanting to try this because I swatched it like in the store. But the thing is, is I just don't know. Like it's just not BAM enough for me. It's just a really like everyday um everyday type of highlight like this is this lighter color you barely see that it's like nothing 
And then this is the other one. That's what even made me want to get it. But it doesn't come onto my skin like this. Like, it comes onto my skin like this. And it's just not out there enough for me. Like, it, I guess it's not as dramatic as I would like it to be. Um, but that's kind of an, another reason why I'm thinking to keep it. Because I really don't have anything in my collection this, like, light. Well, I do, but... I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to switch it out yet. I really don't know. got um, Tarte's Liquid Highlighter. And this is in the shade Stunner. And they had three different shades. I got this because it was actually on sale for $14. And it was normally um, $30. So definitely worth it. This is how it looks. It's just a little like lip gloss tube type of thing. And you guys, it is beautiful. Like, I'm so, so excited to use this. Like, I really have been wanting to use this for a while. And I haven't used any of these products until I decided to put up this haul. But I really wanted to. I'll tell you that. This is the liquid highlight. I'm going to kind of burn it. That's how it looks. I wanted something that I could mix with my foundation to give me some glow. But this is pretty cool. Like, a little goes a long way. So you could definitely apply this as your highlight base type of thing. Next thing that I was so, so excited to get was the Huda Warm Brown Obsessions palette. I've been swatching this like crazy because I'm obsessed and I'm so ready to use this. Um, but yeah, so this is it. I'm just, it's beautiful, y'all. Like, it is so freaking pretty. Like, these colors are everything. Like, they're everything. Um, I've been really wanting to get the Huda palette, but $65 is a little pricey for me to make that commitment. Your girl's not balling like that. And I don't know. Like, it's just kind of hard for me to want to get that palette. So, I saw these and I wanted to try the Mauve Obsessions. But I actually, when I saw it in person, I didn't think I was going to like the Warm Brown Obsessions. Because I'm like, I have so many brown, neutral type of palettes. But no, you guys. These, like, reds and stuff. So good. So good so good these shadows are freaking pigmented y'all probably already know this i'm probably late to the game whatever um but these freaking colors are so pigmented like look at that bam that was just one swipe like so pigmented like they're amazing if you guys want to see a full swatch um list of these shadows head to my instagram because i will post them on there um so just that it keeps the video short and yeah. So the next thing I got was the ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette. This is actually my first uh, ColourPop purchase. I've tried their liners before that I've gone like through Ipsy. But um, this is my first like purchase from them. Um, as you know, they are sold in Sephora now. Um, right now they just have a few select items and this is one of them. And there's actually another kit that I want to get. It's It comes with six shadows for $30, I believe. And, honey, they are nice. Like, but y'all, again, probably know this already. I'm probably late to the game. To be 100% honest with you guys, I got all these products because, of course, I have not fed the inner makeup monster in a while. Like, I used to be so obsessed with buying makeup, like, every week, every paycheck. Um, but that kind of changed because I do work for a brand already, so I get a lot of my makeup through them anyways because I work for them. <laughs> so it's just never been like a huge deal for me to want to like try other brands still and be like really obsessed with them. Um, but because I'm really like into doing my YouTube again, I'm just like excited to be connecting with you guys again. I was like, I'm going to do this for them. I basically did it for you guys to like post more up to date things. And um, you guys are just really wanting to see tutorials. So I'm definitely going to be doing that with these products. And I just plan to keep, keep staying on top of things so that I can continue to give you guys more tutorials from relevant products that are out back to the ColourPop palette hello uh i got this ColourPop um palette and it's golden state of mind i love that the names are in the back that's pretty awesome 
very tutorial friendly and these are the freaking shadows now i was looking at some people's um videos on this because i don't know if y'all do this too but whenever i get new makeup like Sometimes I'll research it before, but usually it's just kind of like an impulse of whatever I feel like looks cute. And then I'll look at it after. Like, I'll look it up on YouTube, like what people had to say about it. But based off of looks and like me feeling it on my own, I was really excited to try this. I saw that a lot of people were not in love with it. I guess, you know, they felt however they felt about it. I freaking dug my nail in here. I'm so pissed. Whatever. Um, and again, if you want to see full swatches on this palette go to my Instagram. I will link it down below for you guys um, and check that out because uh, again, it just kind of keeps the video short and you see better detail of it versus what I'm using right now to film. So, But these are the colors and a lot of people just did not like it. I think because of the shimmer and but these are the colors. Like they're beautiful. Like I think they're amazing. Look at that. Like that's so pretty. Like just perfect shadow toppers like shadow toppers i'm even kind of thinking to use um it as like a lipstick topper to kind of give me some like metallicness to it a very beautiful palette and it, it's just something that you have to know how to work with i don't think that you're going to just love it if you want to achieve like a full look from it because it is very shimmery like glittery it's creamy like it's just not something that you're gonna achieve your entire eye with i mean you probably can so full swatches of these two ladies will be on my instagram page and yeah so if you guys loved the haul please thumbs up the video and i'll make sure to do more of them as well i just wanted to share with you guys what i got um and then if you guys want to see some tutorials with these products feel free to thumbs up the video if you have any questions comments or concerns y'all know to leave them down below i'll be here and if you're not following me on social media i don't know what you're waiting for i'll link it down below i'll help you out Anyways, thank you guys so so much for watching i'll see you guys tomorrow for thanksgiving see y'all guys tomorrow and also if you're excited that i'm doing two videos in this week please thumbs up the video because i want to know I want to know. Right now, I'm keeping it at one video a week because we're not hitting that many views and we're not hitting that many people. So, um, I'm just kind of keeping it that way so I don't, like, overload y'all. Also, I need to ask you guys about Vlogmas. I want to do Vlogmas. I really do. I just don't know how I want to do it because I'm going to have to probably do my own twist on it and upload a vlog every week. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Those are the video if you want to see Vlogmas again. I did it last year. It kind of sucked because I was on maternity leave and I was just home all the time. So, um, but yeah, if you guys want to see Vlogmas, then please thumbs up as well and leave your guys' opinion. Should I do Vlogmas every day, like film every day and post it like maybe every three days? Or should I post a vlog every week? Because I don't want to bombard my channel with a bunch of vlogs, especially if... I may keep them up so I don't know I think I'm gonna do a vlog one per week though that's what I'm thinking that way I could have a beauty video and a vlog each week I don't know you guys tell me what you think talk amongst yourselves JK <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video which is tomorrow and yeah love y'all